What's up guys, welcome to Visualization. Nestor Adriansen here again. Quick question, how easy is it to create a dashboard in Power BI service? It's actually quite straightforward and in this tutorial my friends, I'm gonna show you how to do this step by step. So stay tuned. Hey, but before we get started, if this is the first time that you stop by this channel, please let's make sure that you hit the subscribe button so you will be up to date with the Power BI content, okay? So now, let's do this, guys. For this tutorial, I have seven different points. The first one, what is a dashboard? Second point here, what's a tile? Third point, pin a live report page to a dashboard. Fourth point here, add a dashboard theme. Point number five, configure an alert in a dashboard. Point number six, set a mobile view. And finally, guys, as always, I have a really nice case. So where we're gonna put everything into practice. So now let's go to the first point. So what is a dashboard? So this is really important, my friends, because sometimes we get confused and we confuse Power BI reports with dashboards. For this particular case, a dashboard is a collection of visuals for a single page that you can share with others. Also, it must fit on a single page often called canvas, right? Remember this, it must fit on a single page. So this is critical because we're gonna show the key metrics, right? The key metrics of your Power BI dashboard at first glance. So that's the idea here, okay? So now let's go to the next point. So what is a tile? A tile is a single visualization on a dashboard. In other words, a dashboard is a collection of tiles, right? So that's the point here. So remember here, so we can create Power BI reports by using Power BI Desktop. Then after we create these Power BI reports, we can upload them to Power BI service or the cloud. And then within Power BI service, we can start creating dashboards. And like it says right here, so a dashboard is basically a collection of different visuals, right? And we can get visuals from different reports within the same workspace. So please keep that in mind, okay? So now let's go to the next point. So how to pin a live report page to a dashboard? So we can do that as well. A dashboard is a collection of different visuals, right? different tiles but we can also pin a live report page to a dashboard so we can do that as well and here are the steps so please keep this as a reference okay so now let's go to the next point so add a dashboard theme so this is a nice feature as well with this feature what we can do is basically select different background colors we can also add different tiles backgrounds right so we can do that as well. And we have right here the screenshot as a reference, okay? So now let's go to the next point. All right, so let's learn how to configure an alert in a dashboard. So this is a wonderful feature within Power BI service. So basically here, so we can configure, right, alerts on dashboard tiles. And it's specifically for tiles that display a single numeric value, like cards, for example, right? Like you, you can see here on the screen. So this is a particular card. This is revenue. This one right here is profit. And then you have the option there to manage alerts and you can create the alert here. So we have an example about that as well. So now let's go to the next point. Set mobile view. Remember guys, nowadays everyone has a mobile device. Let's say that you are the boss, you are the main guy in your company and then you're traveling but you wanna check your metrics and someone put together this dashboard. So now with this feature, you can nicely see the dashboard in your mobile device. So we're gonna learn about this feature as well. So now guys, let's go to the next point. Are you ready for the case? So let's do this. The question that we have here is select the most relevant visualizations from two different reports and create a dashboard. Also do the following. Pin a live report to a dashboard, add a customized theme, configure an alert on a dashboard tile, set up mobile view for the dashboard created. So let's do this. 
let's go to Power BI service. Okay, so here we are in Power BI service and I already have two different Power BI reports as part of this workspace. The workspace is called creating dashboards, okay? The first thing that we wanna do here is the following. Let's create a dashboard, right? With the most relevant visualizations from these reports. Let's open this report. And we can start pinning visuals, okay? So let's do that. How about profit? Because this is relevant for me. And then, because we don't have any dashboard yet, so the option that we have here is new dashboard. So let's add a name here. How about if we call this my first dashboard? Okay. And now let's hit pin. There you go. So we have the option here. Go to dashboard. We don't gonna do that yet. So let's keep pinning uh, visuals, okay? How about revenue? Let's do that. And now we're gonna pin this to the existing dashboard, which is my first dashboard. Hit pin, there you go. What else? How about, uh, let's close this. How about this visual? The map right here, let's do that. The same thing here, existing dashboard, my first dashboard, pin, there you go. And how about revenue by date? We can do that as well. Let's hit pin, boom. How about year to date profit by date? We can do that as well. There you go, boom. Now, like I said before, we can create a dashboard with visuals from different Power BI reports within the same workspace. So let's go back to the workspace here, creating dashboards. And now you can see the first dashboard, right? This is a different icon right here, it says dashboard. We just created this dashboard, right? My first dashboard. So let's open the next Power BI report. And we're gonna grab here a different visual, okay? Let's go to profit here. And how about this one right here? Total profit by segment. We can do that as well. Let's pin that. Existing dashboard. And then my first dashboard. So what happens if you have more than one dashboard within the same workspace? So you might have more options here. So let's make sure that you select the right dashboard, okay? For this particular case, we don't have that issue. So now let's hit pin. There you go, because this is the last visual. So now let's go to dashboard. All right, so there you go. So now we can put these pieces together, okay? Let's do that. But before we do that, how about if I insert a picture here as a logo, for example? So let's do that. Right here, I already looked for this picture. It's right here. This is a random picture, it's in the internet. You can select this right here, control C, because we need the URL, okay? And now let's go back to this dashboard here. Let's hit edit, add a tile, and then image. Next, now let's paste this right here. Control V, there you go. Hit apply, boom, here it is. This is the picture. Let's imagine that this is our logo. So let's move this to the top. There you go. Perfect. How about if we add right here a title? We can do that as well. Add a title and then text box. Next. And then right here, we're gonna name it 2013 and 2014 financials, how about that? There you go. We can customize this a little bit better if we want. How about 36? Right there, bold, and then hit apply. We can even change the font color here if we want. Let's do that, hit apply, boom, here it is. And let's start rearranging this as well. How about that? And now this one right here, this one right here, this one right here. And we can move this to the right as well. Oops. How about that? How about this one right here? And then this one right here, right there. And let's expand this here. 
to here. There you go. That looks better, right? Perfect. So what happens if we click if we click on this visual? Let's do that. Boom. So it takes you to the Power BI report. So that's how it works. Let's go back to the dashboard here. As you can see, this is quite straightforward. This is how it works. And now what we can do is let's put this in just one page, right? So we can do that as well. How about if we hit this open in full screen mode? There you go. And then we have this option right here. It says fit to width. So let's do that. Boom. Now guys, you have the key information in just one page. So this is the definition of a dashboard. Everything in just one page. So the main metric for this particular case is profit. There you go. Almost $17 million in profit. Great for these two years. And then we also have total profit by country, revenue by date, year to day profit, total profit by segment. Now, so what was the other question that we had? Pin a live report to a dashboard. We can do that as well. So let's escape here. There you go. Let's go back to the workspace. Okay, creating dashboards. So how about if we open this Power BI report? Here we have two different pages. We have profit and we have details. So our goal here is to pin this report to a dashboard. Everything, right? We don't have to pin a specific visual, but everything. So now, how do we do this thing? So let's hit here these three horizontal dots here and then there is an option called pin to a dashboard let's do that and let's see what happens aha uh -huh. this new window pops up so the question is where would you like to pin to we don't want to pin this to existing dashboard because this is basically the full screen so we need to select the new dashboard and let's call this best power bi practices okay there you go and now let's hit pin live. Boom. And let's go to dashboard. There you go, my friends. There it is. The whole report page is now a dashboard. And we can do the same here. Boom. There you go, my friends. Excellent. Now, the next question that we had was to add a customized theme. Let's do that. Let's hit escape here. And now let's go back to the our workspace here. The first dashboard that we just created, okay? So how to add a customized theme here? So let's hit edit here and then dashboard theme. We have a couple of options here, light, dark, right? And then we also have colorblind friendly. We can do that as well. But how about customize here? Let's do that. Background color. How about this background? There you go. How about the tile background? We can change this to this one right here, for example. We can do that. And now for tile font color, we can also select. How about maybe a different color here? Maybe this color right here. How about that one? There you go. And then we hit save. Because we want to save those changes, right? And let's see what happens. Boom, there it is. Perfect. That's how we add a customized theme to a dashboard in Power BI service, okay? The next question that we had was to configure an alert on a dashboard tile. Let's do that. So remember, if we wanna configure alerts, this works just for visuals with a single value. In other words, for cards here. So let's hit this option right here and now manage alerts. Add a rule and let's say that we want to set up a rule here if it's below $5 million, okay? There you go. So if it's below $5 million, right, total profit, please send me a notification. And this should be at most every 24 hours, every day, right? Safe and close. It's thinking. There you go. So what's the result here? So every time that the profits are below $5 million, I will get an email. So then 
we can take action, right? What's going on? What's happening? Why our profits are decreasing? That's basically the idea here, okay? Now, the next question and the last question that we had was set up mobile view for the dashboard created. So we can do that as well. Edit here, mobile layout. There you go. Nowadays, a lot of people are using their phones. So here it is. So we can make a couple of changes here if we want. And specifically right here, the title is not visible. There you go. This looks better. And then total profit revenue is fine. And how about map? Let's expand this a little bit more. There you go. How about revenue? We can do that as well here. How about year to day profit? The same thing here. Perfect. And then the last one, something very similar here, okay? There you go, my friends. See how beautiful this dashboard is? So now, guys, as you can see, your boss is ready to make decisions, right? Because the information is in his or her hands. All right, so let's change this to web layout. There you go. And that's it, guys. I hope you found this helpful. Now let's go back to our presentation. Thank you very much for your time. I hope you found this helpful. If so, as always, please give me a thumbs up, share with your friends, and of course, don't forget to subscribe because you don't want to miss anything. Thank you guys and see you in my next tutorial.